Yeah. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to JB's RC's. JB here. We're out at Arapica Sand Hill Preserve again. This time I went over to the second rock pile. So my third time here. First time at the second rock pile on the opposite side of the lake as you're coming in. I like this one. It's a little bit more of a trail truck situation. There's not so many steep inclines as the first rock hill. Also a lot more like dirt and loose rock in this one you'll see in the video, which I like. A lot of rock and dirt falling down the hill as the truck's climbing up, especially from those behind shots. Uh, speaking of the truck, today we have the Element Sendero kit. Built this up uh, quite a while ago. Um, it took me a while to build. There was a little situation with the rear axle having play in it. Um, so I had to add up, ended up adding some shims on both sides uh, to stop that from shifting back and forth while it was driving and articulating. But the setup's pretty nice. As you can see here, it crawls great. Uh, I got the RC four-wheel drive scramblers on there, I believe. The one nines, a uh, nice scale looking tire on there. Real great for rock crawling. I'm actually surprised more people don't use these. Um, they surprised me the first time I took them out, actually. They work very well. Um, this spot right here, actually, one of my favorite spots. Where the rocks are quite slippery here, covering little bits of sand, and looks like people have used it as a spot to drive up to, but three times I went up there, and all three times it made it no problem. Um, other than that, it's got the Hobby Wing 1080 ESC, of course, my usual. Uh, Holmes Hobbies Crawl Master uh, motor in there. I believe it's the 550 8 turn uh, Holmes Hobbies Crawl Master motor in there. Then we just got some uh, cheap Amazon shocks on there and some. Beadlock metal Amazon wheels on there, the one nines, and a Amazon 35 kg circle on there. KYX front and rear bumpers, and the J Concepts Chevy square body on there. Um, having some issues with my paints lately, chipping off. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Uh, either bad prep, or I am not putting enough layers on, or I'm not putting enough backing on. I back them so I gotta figure out what's going on with that it's really annoying me right now because I got a couple bodies I want to do and I don't want to mess them up because they're some nicer projects that I got coming up oh yeah right there you see the rocks falling and the dirt and I think that looks pretty cool Come of my favorite shots actually are when the dirt's and rock are falling off but hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video I'll check back in see how everything's going in a little while thanks Yeah, so when I first got out, there wasn't really anybody out there. Uh, a few people on the trail taking some wedding photos, but nobody on the rock piles on either side of the lake. Uh, and as the day went on, some people showed up. Um, and one guy actually had an RC boat out. You'll see in the uh, video coming up here, he comes cruising by on the lake. Uh, of course, in the rest of the video, you'll hear him every once in a while. Oh, there it is. It was a pretty quick little boat. And then uh, those couple guys on the other first rock pile uh, with a couple trucks, there was a TRX-4 and then a real custom monster truck of some sort it had fling kings and all sorts of crazy stuff on it. Wasn't driving that one, just the TRX4 over there. Went over and hung out with them for a little while after. It's pretty cool just seeing somebody out. Normally it's just me by myself and I feel kind of weird sometimes. Especially being an adult with an RC car out. I'm sure some people look at me and are like, what's this guy doing? Uh, no kids with me and no friends or nothing. Doing all my own recording and everything. So just a loner out there. <laughs> it was nice to have some friends. Some some likewise people to hang out with for a bit.
So yeah, those uh, Amazon chocks work really well. They're a little bit stiff, but they came oiled. They're all metal, uh, metal caps, everything. And uh, I think that's the only thing I would change on the truck is maybe just lighter springs on there possibly. Uh, take care of that situation. Uh, I also want to do some inner fenders on there so you can't see up in there while I'm recording. Uh, other than that, it performed fantastic today. Nothing broke. Uh, I do run a 3S battery, so it does put a little tension on some things. And with the rock slamming around on, of course, I was always expecting something to break or snap or kick or bend, but everything was good. Didn't even lose any uh, wheel nuts. But hope everybody enjoyed. And uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification, and uh, check out some of those RC giveaway videos I'm doing. We'll see you next time. Get out there and have some fun.